Another thing that will make you feel better is to get out in the sunshine. A beautiful afternoon, Angelica. That's right. That's therapy in itself. It All you need is to get outside, soak up that sunshine. And we have plenty of it this week with another warm up on the way. And look at that. There's somebody out there in this uh, really nice afternoon in Pacific Beach. As we look across the region, it is back to dry weather. The latest storm to, the latest storm to come through, excuse me, it is now moving through the four corners. But it is going to be one of those systems that you're going to be hearing about about for a while because it's going to be running into the one that's already in Chicago and stretching down to Dallas as they both combine. This is going to lead to rain, snow and potentially some severe weather. It does look like there's going to be that chance in the Tennessee Valley, so we're going to keep an eye on that as well. Locally, we're tracking another round of St. Anna winds. A few clouds left in San Diego with 60 degrees. The temperature difference is yesterday between four and seven degrees warmer, and this is just the beginning. It'll continue to improve by the end of the week. Temperatures in Ramon at 58 degrees, 44 in Julian. Winds are also going to be a concern. A wind advisory will remain in effect until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Gusts could reach up to 50 miles per hour. The winds already gusting up to 36 miles an hour. And we also had a lot of wind yesterday. Of course, it was an unsure wind. Now those easterly winds are going to bring drier conditions across the county. And you see how it increases overnight into tomorrow morning. Gusty winds expected for our mountains. That is where we will see the strongest winds into the foothills and then by the afternoon it'll start to get better. St. Anna winds are going to be in place a little bit more localized in nature, but they will be in place through at least Saturday. As we look at the seven day rain chance, look at that. It goes up next week with another opportunity for wet weather. What's happening here? This blocking ridge that has been in place that provided the warm up last week, still helping to keep things fairly warm and it will do that also over the next couple of days. Then we'll start to see it breaking down colder air finally moving Moving into the West Coast, which is going to help. We know as the drought continues, any changes in the pattern, cooler weather and the potential for rain and snow, it is always a good sign. In the seven day forecast, 66 degrees on Sunday, low 60s next week. There's that chance for showers next week. Otherwise, 70s for the end of the work week. Inland communities around 76 degrees on Friday, mostly sunny skies on Saturday, but windy and warmer tomorrow. Mountains will be in the upper 40s. Factor in the wind, it feels even colder, but the temperatures will be also warming up closer to 60 degrees on Saturday than back to the 40s with a chance for showers next week and even the possibility of rain changing over to snow by Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. We'll keep everyone up to the latest. Kimberly. <laughs> Thanks, Angelica.